All right, guys. Um, oh, I need the disclaimer. Five seconds of disclaimer. Guys, um, it is the London session. It is 0150 to 210. That is the 0150 to 210 macro. Um, I know that Michael has not discussed London session macros, but I promise you the 0150 to 210 is very real. Uh, you will see this time of the day seek liquidity uh, pretty, pretty much every night. So I'm confident that this is a macro. Um, anyways... Um, uh, we are long one um, we'll see if I want to add on another this might be a short video depending on how the trade goes my current thinking would be um, at least the low of that green candle 15,852 evens um, could get higher could get up to the 862 three quarters we will see guys the Frankfurt Stock Exchange opens um, shortly so this is going to be our first trade of the new week, and we'll see, you know, we'll see how it goes. Um, you can see my order blocks that I have uh, marked out, order block mean thresholds. It's going to be a bearish order block up here. Okay, uh, break even stop is going to come in the market at 822.75 and we are going to aim I think I think I'm just going to hold on to this let's see I'm going to put it at 823.25 I'm going to put up a point might get stopped out on this it might want to come back down to some of these lower order blocks All right, guys, um, I'm listening to video, so I'm going to mute the audio. Um, I think the price might want to come trade back down and then go higher.
All right, guys. Um, I'm here. Hi. Um, yeah, so in terms of this position, mm, already kind of making a black candle there. I'm going to move the sell stop just above that. Let's see if that was a fair bit. It's a high low, lower high, so that's a mitigation block. Um, yeah, so that's a uh, mitigation block, so it's um, a high, low, and then a lower high. Price is more likely to trade through a mitigation block than it is uh, a breaker block. That's our new week opening gap right there. It's not huge, but it is there. Uh, we are coming up to it. During the London session, I typically... All right.
All right, guys, that is, um, we are up 290.84, spot 84 in the session. We just formed a five minute fair value gap. We want to see how the price is uh, going to react on that. We have the London Cash open coming soon. So I want to see how the price reacts to this five minute. All right, guys, current state of affairs, I will tell you, I'm waiting to see how the price uh, is going to react to this fair five-minute fair value gap. Um, we are either going to trade down to it, find support, trade back higher into the mitigation block and up to the spy side liquidity, or we're going to trade lower down to this order block or maybe this order block. Um, we could trade through it and invert it, um, and this buy side amount sell side inefficiency could shoot us lower. So I just want to see... Uh, basically how the price is going to react to it. I'm just going to show you the couple of executions. That one was a break-even trade and then that one was 13 points. Okay. So uh, we've made two executions thus far. So
Yeah, I'm going to talk about this because, uh, you know, it, nobody's watching my video at 51 minutes in. Um, man, I have a tough time dating with the girls. I've been working on my appearance. Um, I've been losing weight, uh, whatever. But, yeah, I have a tough time, man. I can't. I text message like I'm a 50, 60-year-old man. I'm I'm like a super autist over text message. It's really bad. I'm like uh, I gotta I gotta work on the text message game. It's really bad. It's kind of like when you first start day trading. This trade is is uh, we'll see if this five minute inverted fair value gap wants to invert. But yeah, nobody watches the video at 52 minutes in like this. So I know I'm just talking to myself. Uh, but yeah, man, the girls are tough. Uh, if you're too direct, they think that's too aggressive. If you're not direct enough, they think you're a little bitch. So it's a balance. You can't be a weakling in their eyes. If, if the woman thinks that you're a weakling, you're done. But if you're too aggressive and too direct, it's like also bad. So, and it's very difficult for me to sound like an idiot, and the girls like idiots. They really do. I mean, they won't tell you that, but they like, they prefer you to sound like a normal 27 year old, and I do not. I sound like an autist because I am one. So, I mean, I'm a licensed attorney, so it's just very difficult for me to sound stupid because I'm not. So, you know, it is what it is. I have to adapt to the modern. I mean, you gotta adapt, guys. This is the thing. It's adapt or die. So the girls, you know, the girls my age and younger, the ones that I actually want to, you know, have relationships with, um, they expect a man my age to be kind of stupid. And so it's just very difficult for me to sound stupid. <laughs> I can't do it. I write in full sentences. I gotta fix my, my, I don't put any emojis in my text messages. It comes across very harsh, which is not really my intention. I mean, I don't give a fuck, but I, I kind of text message the girls like I'm texting another man. That's why I hate text messaging. Um, anyways. Yeah, man, the girls are tough. The girls are tough. They're very different. I'm kind of like a computer scientist, you know? And the thing is, is that they don't expect a guy as good looking as me, frankly, to to be the way that I am. They kind of expect that most attractive men are going to, you know, be idiots. And so they're used to that. And that's, you know, when I come across and I'm not an idiot, uh, you know, that's, they're not, it's like kind of weird to them, Right. Because they would expect that most men who sound like me are probably, you know, ugly as hell. So, I'm doing better with my appearance, but the game, game is a little bit off, you know? Got to have all the pieces together. I got to use more emojis in my messaging. Soften it up a bit, you know? Sound a little bit less like an autist. It's just difficult to me because I'm an autist, <laughs> so difficult but I can do it I can sound make myself sound more stupid more approachable more stupid yeah they all say they want a smart man and then when one actually shows up and you know I sound very logical and full sentences it's like oh guy's kind of weird well yeah this is what logic actually sounds like not, it's not always pleasant, just is what it is. So, yeah, I have a very difficult time with that. Now, I'm pretty charming in person. But text messages, I, I write full, like, briefs, like legal memoranda over text message, which is a problem. So my text game is pretty terrible, pretty god-awful. So I got to work on that. Yeah, so those those equal highs there will be taken out. It's just a matter of of how aggressive the price wants to come back and take those out. Um, this is probably going to be a loss. Might get stopped out on this. 
Um, but we did just make like a whole load of equal highs there to the buy side, so that's probably going to be taken out. Yeah, man. Like, obviously, as you know, I never intend on getting married to one of these girls. Are you kidding? Oh, my God. No. She can go on online dating and find a replacement for you in about three seconds. She's pissed off at you. Oh, new dude. I mean, just as easily as she found you. Duh. Oh, she's pissed off one day. Swipe, swipe. There's a new man. And, you know, obviously if she's on online dating, she's got about 5,000 matches. Like, I kid you not, probably about 5,000. And so it's just endless parade of men. Th that doesn't mean that she's attracted to all of them. It just means that she has the option. So you gotta you got to be attractive as a man, and you you got to get your finances in order, and you got to get your game in order, and you got to be. It's hyper-competitive, guys. It's hyper-competitive. And I talk to these men that are, you know, middle-aged and married, and they don't know what it's like at all. They got no idea. They have no idea. They're, they're living in stone ages. They're living in the stone ages where, like, oh, I got married when I was 20. We didn't have internet back in our day. I'm like, well, I wouldn't get divorced then if I were you because um, you're getting a little bit chubby there, and believe me. That's not how this online dating stuff works. You need to be attractive, period. Tall and attractive. Yeah. So. But would I ever marry one of these girls? Oh, my God. Imagine that, man. Imagine where she would have the ability to replace you literally within 30 minutes. I mean, she can go on her phone and have a whole carousel of men, a whole parade of men to replace you like, oh, you pissed her off one day? Swipe, swipe. <laughs> You're replaced instantly. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Imagine trying to marry that. That'd be crazy. Well, my wife got really angry at me, so she found five men on Tinder the same night. I'm not saying that she will do that. I'm saying that, it, it's like, you know that that, I, that option is there for her, right? So it's always going to be in the back of your mind that you could be replaced in about a second. Less than a second. In fact, she probably already has your replacement lined up. So why in the world would you ever want to marry into that? That's that's guys. This is why I'm telling you, young men. No, no, no. I mean, I love women and and have a you know have a good time and be friendly and be polite and be respectful, but don't fool yourself either. I mean, don't, don't fool yourself. She can replace you. Swipe, swipe. In about a second. And women are much more pickier than, than men. Men will just swipe on whatever. Women are much more selective. So, you know, she, guys, you're 22, 23 years old, and you're thinking about getting married. You're insane. You are insane. You are, wow, nuts. Do you know how fast she can replace you? I mean, she can go on Tinder, Bumble, Hinge. Just 50 of them. Every single man will be alike, right? She's attractive. And even she's not attractive. I mean, every single man will be alike, right? But she can literally replace you within 30 minutes. Within 30 minutes. Probably within 15. The same night. So, if you're not literally a top-tier man, as in six feet, six inches, six figures, you what? she can replace you like that, like you're t complete, completely disposable. So why would you ever, ever in a million years want to commit yourself to something where you know she can replace you in about a second? Oh my God, that sounds like lunacy. Which is unfortunate. Uh, my parents have been married for over 40 years. I believe in marriage. I believe in, in marriage a lot. But not in this modern day and age. Oh my God. I don't think I can ever do it. I mean, I, I can't do it. Like, knowing that she can replace me, because I'm a very flawed man. Like, I'm autistic, so I have a difficult time with the strong emotions. Uh, I, I like peace, calm, tranquility. Um, I, li I, I have a difficult time with loud noises and, and too much emotion. So, you know, it's like... 
the only the only woman I would ever consider like a really long term relationship with, she would have to be quiet, like peaceful, peaceful. I don't want to argue. I hate arguing. I hate screaming. I hate yelling. I can't stand it. I don't like too much emotion on me. I don't like chaos. I like order. I like calm, peace. You know, that's what I like. I can't. I can't stand chaos at all. I really cannot. So I like having a good time. I like going on dates, meeting meeting new girls, but I cannot would not ever commit to chaos. I just I would rather be alone. I can't I can't do the chaos. I cannot. I cannot. And I won't. I won't. Um I know she's on online dating that she has not only me as a match, she has about 30,000 other men matched with her. And some of them are going to be more attractive than me. Some of them are going to be wealthier than me. Some of them are going to be taller than me. She gets pissed off at me one night, whatever. You know, I did something. I fucked up somehow. She can replace me that way faster than I can replace her. Not even close. So, you know. I don't see the point. I would love I would love nothing more than for to live 30 years ago and to get a wife, a house. But you have to adapt. You have to adapt to the world in which you live, guys. Most marriages end in divorce now. Most relationships fail pretty quickly. Um is what it is. And I, I love the company of women a lot. Um, I love women. But I can't handle the chaos. I really cannot. I mean, not for an extended period of time. I mean, it can handle handle it for a while. But but uh, not, not over time. I can't handle chaos. I don't want to. I want to live a peaceful life. I want to live a peaceful, tranquil life. I really do. That's all I want. I, I cannot. I cannot be a therapist. Cannot. Oh. Oh. All right. Well. I thought it was going to invert that fair value gap to take us higher, but it does not look like it wants to do that. We're probably going to be stopped out on this. I, I'm going to give this a shot. I'm going to move the stop down um, just because that should be taken out. That should be taken out. Probably going to shoot lower on the London Cash Open and then shoot higher. Yeah, that's kind of my current thinking. I do not want to be stopped out on this. There's no part of me that wants to be stopped out on this. Because looking at that looking at those equal highs, that that will be taken out. Um and I don't want to be stopped out on something on just a a, a sweep into liquidity. You know, so for example, this this is an order block here. So just um Yeah, so those equal highs up there.
the story is if women actually told why they are filing for 80% of divorces, because they're not just running to the courthouse to file for divorce for no reason at all, okay? There's reasons, right? And because of all those things that I just mentioned and probably a host of other things, leave them in the comments, um, that I haven't mentioned, this is what causes women to fall into this hypergamous state where they outgrow these men and they want something better, more stable, more powerful, and more secure. Oh, they sure want something better, let me tell you, that's for certain. Uh, but there's, she, she, you know, this is like a, a mic drop moment for her, you know, guys, when she gives all the reasons. But all the reasons were bullcrap. If we put aside the real reasons to get divorced, you know, like he was, you know, the husband is abusive, he beats her up, or he cheats, or he's bi, you know, that could happen in one of like every 10,000 cases, okay? Uh, all right, I mean,
Okay, so you're probably wondering why I let that thing run against me so much. Um, and I'll just tell you, uh, I'm not going to hide it from you. No, uh, I'm not necessarily gambling, kind of gambling, but it's it's these equal highs here. Right now, that's just a fair value gap. Well, I'll leave it because I think it is going to invert. Um, so... Anyways, um, those equal highs there, that is that is ripe for the taking. And then once we get above that high and that high, we're, we're clear sailing. Could get pretty, you know, could get, over the course of the night, it could get pretty um, ridiculous. Uh, but notice where the candles are closing, right? Strong close there. Closing this order flow right here, that order block closed above the mean threshold of that order block and above the mean threshold of that order block on the five minute chart. So good closes. And then if we come back into this fair value gap and this uh, sell set amounts buy set inefficiency here. So SIBI and BISI, if we can come back, trade above those into this mitigation block, uh, take out these equal highs, then we should be set for a good rip higher. Yeah, I'm, you know, generally speaking, a guy that likes to spend a lot of time by myself. I like quiet. I like peace and quiet. Um, I hate screaming. I hate noise. Uh, I guess it goes with what I am. Um, I hate chaos. I don't, I don't like it at all. Uh, so... Unless it's the casino. I like the casino. Obviously. All right, we're five minutes into the London Cash session. Um, I'm interested to see where these five-minute candles are closing. Uh, I'm seeing equal highs above us on this inverted fair value gap and fair value gap. Uh, we do have a five-minute fair value gap sitting above. That's a 30-minute. You know what I'm actually going to do? Yeah, man, I love uh, women's company I, I, way more than men. Men suck. Uh, most men my age, I'm 27. Most men my age are absolute freaking stupid. Uh, just, just dumb as hell. Low IQ freaking retards. And I cannot stand them. I hate, hey, bro, hey, man. How's it going, bro? Fuck you. Idiot. Hey, bro. Go bro your ass away from me, bro. What do you have to offer me? Nothing? You're just one of the, one of the other 30,000 freaking idiots around me? The women are smart. The men are freaking dumb as hell. And for whatever reason, the women are attracted to dumb and stupid. And uh, I got to dumb myself down for them. You know, put more hearts and bullshit in my text messages. I gotta, I gotta use the softer approach, or I can just find me a good autist girl like me. <laughs> but probably not. No, I gotta adapt to what most of the girls are. Yeah, the, this generation of men, my age and younger, are absolute freaking effeminate. Weaklings. Just weaklings. Pathetic, pathetic losers. No ambition, no drive. The women are more masculine than the men. Most of them. Not all. Again, again these are generalities. Um, I would say that my generation and younger of men are just freaking. Wow. Wow. Absolute freaking. More effeminate than the, the the women are more masculine than the men. It's it's all we live in a polar opposite world right now. Yeah, so the market right now is making you think it's not going to go take out those equal highs. Uh, it will. 
I don't know how long it wants to pretend like it's not going to do that. I've got $2,300 of drawdown to go, so I will let this thing run against me pretty hard. There's no way it's not taking out those equal highs. It will draw up to that buy side liquidity there. Um, just a matter of how quickly it wants to do it. Yeah, man. I just, I have a hard time with the hey, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, man. Uh, just so you know, when y'all comment on my sex, on my videos, and you say like W video, hey, bro, hey, man, I think you are an idiot. You cannot write in full sentences. You do not speak proper English, and I think you are dumb. Okay? You don't know how to speak English, and you're probably American. The Germans, like my foreign audience, speaks better English than you. I don't care if you're uneducated or not. Speak proper English. I get in my comment sections, W video bro, for real, for real, FR, FR. F you and F you, dum dum. If you're not of a certain caliber of class, like you're unrefined, you're stupid, I don't like you. I don't. I do not like the unwashed masses at all. At all. I don't like being around friggin' rednecks, uh, ghetto, poor, uncouth. No, I don't. I like being around, you know, clean, hygienic, intelligent, refined, high class. Sorry. I Do I like it? You know, my... You know, I put out all this effort, and my commenters are usually like, "Yeah, for real, for real, bro, for real, for real, bro, pal, I'm not your, I'm not your bro. I am a YouTuber and a day trader. I'm not your bro. Okay, I'm not your bro. I'm not your man. I'm not for real, for real, dog. W video. How about? I mean, you can't even write winning video." And most people write you instead of Y-O-U. You are all lazy asses. You can't write Y-O-U? No. No, I mean, no wonder the, the women do not find most of y'all attractive. I mean, you, you can't even write in full sentences. You're like cavemen. They're way smarter than you. It's just not even close. It's, uh, you know, I got a. I've been in college and academia my entire life, so I'm just not used to being around normal people. And unfortunately, I'm not impressed. How do y'all go through life not knowing how to write a full sentence and use proper grammar? How do you go through life just like spewing out letters? You don't even write full sentences. It's just all acronyms. You don't even know what acronym means. H how do you do it? I mean, don't you ever have any sort of intellectual stimulation to want to learn and improve yourself? To speak clearly with proper English? Do you want your legacy is just, I was fucking stupid and I can't even write a full sentence? I'm a retard? Is, is that really how you want your legacy to be? And unfortunately, it would seem that it would appear so. The younger generation is dumb as hell. It's something with the water or something. Like, you people, you're under the age of 25 and you are guaranteed a freaking dumbass. You don't even know how to write a full sentence. What are they teaching you in school? Oh my God. You comment on my video, W video. What do you mean, W video? W video.
W video your ass and stick it up W video up your ass. You're all freaking plebeians, peons. You are stupid as hell. You can't even write a full sentence. What's wrong with you? I mean, I love you. But W video. W video, man. I'm not your man and I'm not your bro. Okay, I need to take a break from ranting. Sorry, I get emotional. Yeah, I don't get it, man. I I gotta sound like stupid and friendly and approachable over messaging with girls. And it's not my natural state. I'm like a computer scientist. I hate sounding like I'm stupid. Um, I write in full sentences. I write like I'm educated because I am. But that's not what the girls like. They like the hey baby 
BB, you know, emojis, smiley faces, softness. They like that. I have a very difficult time with that. I'm very direct. I know what I want, and I just go for it. Um, I have a very difficult time with this, like up and down emotions. Very difficult time dealing with it with other people. And I hate stupid. I hate stupid a lot. Um, so, I'm not the world's friendliest man. I've been working on my diet. My appearance has improved, which is getting me kind of past that first threshold. But then, my my game, my messaging, text messaging, is so bad. It's so terrible. My in-person game is a little bit better, but I still have to be more soft. I still gotta like be a little bit more stupid. You know, the girls get scared. If you start sounding too smart, they're like, something's wrong with this guy. So. But, you know, a lot of them are like, they want, they want you basically to commit to them on the spot. Like, man, you can replace me so fast. Imagine my, like, if I found you on Tinder, I found you on a dating app. I'm not an idiot. I know how fast you can find another dick, another dude. Like, I'm not, an, I'm not stupid. Why in the world, if the second that you get pissed off at me, and I piss people off, believe me, I'm, I will aggravate you. I naturally piss people off. It's been, I've done that my entire life. Believe me, I will piss you off. Um, you get pissed off at me, you're going to sleep with the next dude on Tinder in about a second just to, like, get back at me. Why in the world would I ever commit to that? Are you kidding? That's, that's insanity. Because I will piss you off. Like, it's my natural state is to piss you off. And that will never change. It is who I am. I'm very blunt. I'm very, I, I will just speak my mind. I'm very open, but I am very direct. Um, and I don't like to lie. I'm not a deceiver. I'm not a deceptive person. Um, so, you know, you ask me a question, my natural state is I'm going to give you a direct answer, whether you like it or not. And, uh, you know, a lot of the girls have a difficult time with that. So I piss them off, too, because I piss everybody off. My natural state is to piss you off. I'm a very disagreeable person. Um, I try, but I just think most people are idiots. I don't know what to say. It's been my experience. I mean, look at, look at my comment section. For real, for real, bro. It's not even full sentences. It's not even English. It's just gibberish. People can't even write full sentences. You don't know how. And, uh, I'm pissing you off. I know I am. I, I know if there's anybody on this earth that is watching this, that you're like, you are aggravated at me. You do not like me right now. Uh, and I understand that because I've done that my entire life and I'm not going to change guys. If y'all are like, well, Reese, you can work on it. No, this is how I am. I can hide it for a while. But I can't get rid of it. Like, I just think most people are stupid as hell. And I do not like most people. Uh, they don't, I don't find them very interesting. They don't, have, they don't do interesting things. They're usually just corporate slaves. And I don't, you know, they'll start talking about politics. I don't care. I want to know, like, what are we doing? What are we accomplishing? What are, like, we need goals. We need objectives. We need passions. We need callings. We need something important, something that matters, something that we're passionate about, something that drives you. If you're just one of those normal, average, every day, I go to work every day and I raise my kids, fuck you. You're not doing anything interesting. What are you doing? What are you accomplishing? Are you starting a business? Do you have a new product idea? Are, are you, you know, like, what are you doing that is interesting? What are you doing that I, like, 
would find fascinating. Well, I got a wife who hates my guts, you know, middle-aged men, right? They get all fat and lazy and alcoholic, you know. I give a fuck about you. What do you do? What do you do? Like, tell me. Well, I go to work every day and listen to a boss and I don't accomplish anything and my wife hates me and my children hate me. Okay, well, tell me what's so interesting about you. And then I talk to guys that are younger than me, like college age, no aspirations, no goals, just drifting, just drifting. Hey, what do you plan on doing in the future? I might do this. I might do a little bit of this. I might do a little bit of that. Middle-aged men I don't like. Men that are younger than me, boring as hell. There's very few people that I actually like and find interesting. If you're just one of those, and most men I just think are, I prefer women. Women are way more interesting than most of you men. For real, for real, bro. Bro up your ass. Dum dum. Dumkopf. Durak. Do you speak another language? Have you been places? What do you do that is interesting? What, is, what drives you? What are you passionate about? Is it something interesting? Do you read? Do you know history? Don't tell me about politics. I don't give a shit what your politics are. I don't care if you're a right winger or a left winger. You vote the same party that I do. What do I care? It means nothing to me. What are you doing that is interesting? Well, I got five kids. My wife hates me. We haven't had sex in five years because I've gotten fat and she's not attracted to fat. No one's attracted to fat. They're just not. So you got that dead bedroom going. You're not passionate. You have no drive. You're a middle-aged loser. Alcoholic. I like to get home, put my feet up after a long day of being a slave. And I like to drink my beer. Okay. Tell me all the wisdom that you have to tell me, old man. And then if you're younger, high school, college, you don't even know how to write a full sentence. I mean, you are stupid. I mean, so stupid I can't even describe it. The women are so much smarter than you. At least I can have a conversation with them. You men are dumb as hell. Why in God's name the women find any of you attractive is beyond me. I don't understand it. You have no ambition, you have no drive, you, you don't have any discipline, you have nothing. Why would a woman find you attractive? What do you bring to the table? You're a loser. Okay, I think we're going to push up to these new highs. I'll take one off when we get up to 44. If we can get to 44, I don't see why the price would not want to get up there. It might want to bounce around a little bit in here. Fair value gap, we're coming back into it. And then invert that fair value gap. I told you guys that the price is not going to let this, these, uh, these e perfect equal highs here, they will be ran. Yeah, nobody's watching my video at this point in an hour and a half. I know you people. Y'all people don't have the attention span to do it. I want to get married. I I would love nothing more than to provide for a woman. But they're not interested in that. They're strong and independent. And honestly, yeah, they are. So what do they need me for? Nothing. I guess just something good to look at. thing is is that they're so used to all these like effeminate men that if a man comes around it's just direct with them it's like frightening and so I have to soften it a bit I 
I see all the men around me in average average everyday life, and I do not want to emulate that at all. They are fucking losers. I don't care if they're older than me. Those middle-aged men are fat, alcoholics, uh, fat. Did I mention fat? Lazy? Like, their wives don't like them? I'm not going into my 50s and 60s with a huge beer belly on me. I'm sorry. I'm just not doing that. I'm not interested in doing that. I want to be healthy even when I'm 65 and, and have energy and be able to live life even when I'm 65. There's no part of me that wants to be a fat ass at 65 years old. Uh, people have no drive anymore. Just no desire to want to accomplish anything. I mean, my God, learn a new language or do something. Go walking every day, like at least go walking. Do some sort of exercise. Yeah, and I got some people messaging me now on Instagram like, Hey, I watched your videos. Okay, what do you offer? Like, what are you bringing to the table? You're from Turkey? Are you offering me a business opportunity? No, you just want to... You just want to waste my time? Okay. Well, no. Uh, I'm not. What do you have? What do you? What do you have from Turkey? That? What do you have to offer me, buddy, from Turkey? He was a pretty good-looking dude too. But it's like, well, what are you offering me? You just want to waste my time, and bullshit me. Hey, I love your videos. Well, I'm glad, but why are you messaging me? What do we have to talk about? Oh, nothing? Okay. Yeah, I have a very difficult time with average, everyday people. Um, they have no ambition. They have no drive. They have no passion. They're apathetic. That's why I couldn't stand the legal community. The apathy. You have to have passion. You have to have a drive. And men, it comes from your sex drive, by the way. That's what it comes from. But you you gotta, you gotta be passionate. What are you doing? What drives you? Why are you waking up in the morning? Uh, I don't know, man. Hey, man. For real, for real, man. For real, for real. Why are the girls attracted to that? Why are the women attracted to dumbasses? I don't, I've never understand girls like retards, and I don't get it. I don't get it. Do you just want to be around stupid? No, they are. They are really attracted to stupid, and I, I don't know why. But I have to, I, if I have to adapt, I will adapt. I'm an adaptive person. I will adapt to stupid. If that's what the girls like, then I will try and dumb it down. I will. I'll try and be softer, be nicer. I can try. I can only fake it for so long. I'm not a nice person. Um, I think most people are stupid as hell because they, time and time again, prove me correct. They have no passion, no drive, no discipline, no long-term planning. None of, none of those qualities do most people have. Uh, and that, therefore, they do nothing interesting. They live mediocre lives, and then they die. I don't want to live a mediocre life of, of slavery and corporate America. There's no part of me that just wants to be a slave. I want to run my own business, do my own, do my own thing. So, you know. All right. I, there's just no earthenly way that 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 is going to remain there's no way i don't care if the price is pretending like it's not taking out those equal highs it it's going to take out those equal highs and, and run higher it's just a matter of when it wants to do it yeah man i try to be too direct with the girls it scares them if you're too passive they don't respond so tough they're very frustrating 
And they all want that commitment right away, like, please be my boyfriend. Why? Just so you can replace me? Do you think I don't know how this game is played? You're going to talk all this sh You talk... Here's the thing that they don't tell you guys. All the girls talk shit about you behind your back. Every girl. They all do it. And to another man that they're sleeping with. <laughs> She's talking shit about you, buddy. They all do it. Every girl I've had an interaction with, the first thing that they do is they talk shit about the last guy. It's like, well, I'm not an idiot. I know where this is going. The next guy that you talk to, you're going to talk shit about him, about me. Why would I want to marry you? Oh my God. <laughs> what sort of loyalty do you have? You don't, loyalty. Are you kidding? You have the loyalty uh, until I piss you off, which I guarantee you I will. So uh, why would you ever be loyal to me? I could be loyal to you until the day that I die if you showed it to me. But if you're talking shit about your past boyfriend to me, I know exactly what that means and where I'm going to be in the future. Which is you talking shit about me to the next guy. So. So why would I, why would I want to marry that? Well, my last boyfriend was, abs was absolute trash. I'm hoping that you won't be absolute trash. Well, I'm not sure how much I believe that anymore. They can't all be trash. Like, not, I mean, a lot of them are. I guarantee, I, actually, a lot of the men my age and younger are pretty trash. But, I, but, you know, there seems to be a pattern here. And the pattern is, uh, you're talking shit about the past boyfriend, so why would I want to be future boyfriend? You're going to talk shit on me to the next guy. Oh my god. Terrible. No. Oh man, alright, we're coming back down. I, do, I, I don't I don't see how the price is not gonna take that those highs out. That would be pretty wild to me. That would be very wild. If it wants to just invert this fair value gap and um, not take out these highs, that would be very wild to me. Very unexpected.
Yeah, man. I have, I have a tough time softening the message. Um, very tough time doing that. I have a tough time acting stupid. And a lot of the girls my age and younger, they, they kind of expect you to, you know, be a little bit stupid. And I have a difficult time with that. Unfortunately, I know that what I'm doing right now with the girls is not um, successful. Obviously, I can get them initially attracted because uh, of my looks. I'm not the best looking man out there, but I've lost a lot of weight. I've been taking care of myself. So... But then, you know, you start talking to me for a while and you realize, like, I'm a damn autist. So. Um, I think that once I practice, uh, you know, I have, like, 50 matches, which is nothing compared to what the girls have. They have hundreds. But I have enough uh, women to practice on to work with that I can improve my delivery. And I can try and sound more stupid, more friendly. So, hopefully that will work out. You know, it's kind of like day trading, right? You got to adapt. And with the girls my age, I'm definitely too blunt, too direct. I gotta do the. I gotta circle the whole bandwagon every time. Circle, circle, circle. Like. I hate, to, I hate doing it, but I have to, because I like the girls. Hey, so, just got to deal with what it is and adapt to the whole, you know, let's talk 30,000 different ways around the circle of what I want. Um, you know, we got to build it up indirectly, right, for a while. Seduction. You know. The big circles around what the obvious conclusion is. So I'm a healthy 27-year-old male. That really should be no secret. Whatever. It's so funny to me when they say they, they want me as a boyfriend. No, you don't. No, you don't. I might be good to look at. You wouldn't want to be around me too long. Especially when I'm really telling you what I think. I will hurt your feelings. Badly. So. I have been doing that and pissing people off since I was about 10 um, I am not distracted by the world's nonsense. I am purely logical most of the time. All of the things that people believe, both on the right and left, are completely logical and irrational um, and not adapting with the times that we live in. I, I hear a lot of uh, men that are quote unquote Republicans, conservatives, and you know they're rushing to get into marriages. They all end up divorced, alimony, child support, miserable. Because um, they live in fantasy land like this is 50 years ago. And guys, that's not 50 years ago. We have dating apps. Um, we have hookup culture. We have whatever. Um, if she's an attractive girl, even in her 30s, she can replace you very easily. Um, so this is not an environment in which you want to run out and get married. Because why would she be loyal to you? What do you have to offer that 30,000 other men cannot offer her? and that she does not have access access to she can make her own money what what do you what do you offer what do you bring to the table there are taller men out there darker and handsome more handsome than you and she can also literally just like talk to a dude from the middle east or something and like leave the country so what's the point there are so many men available to her that are better than you, objectively. No matter how tall you are or how good-looking you are, there's professional athletes. Um, she can always trade up. So why, why, what's the point? 
Um, and then, of course, with the men my age and younger, they're all stupid and have no ambition and no drive, no passion. They're all apathetic. Hey, bro. Hey, man. For real, for real, dog. Take your for real, for real and shove it so far up your rectum. You're for real, for real. I want you to shove that bitch up your colon so far. You're for real, for real. I just, just impale yourself with it. That's what I think of you. Really, you sound like a caveman, a troglodyte. You cannot write a full sentence. You've never been taught to even write. You don't know what how to write a full sentence. I mean, I, you, you would never even occur to you to speak proper English. Um, so, anyways. Can you see why it would be difficult to marry me? I don't care how attractive I am physically. I will tell you straight up exactly what I think. And I will not hide it from you. I don't care if you're a man, if you're a woman. I will piss you off. I don't care if you're a conservative, if you're a diehard liberal, wokey. I will piss both of you off. Because your Ben Shapiro types, bro, if you're trying to marry these girls in 2023, you are insane. You are absolutely insane. If you're a liberal, you don't even believe in objective reality. Like, you're so far gone. You're gone. You're delusional. So. Anyways. I'm, I'm not political because I hate both sides. I mean, I hate the liberal side more. They're even more irrational and insane. But, you know. We pretend.
I don't like having four contracts on, so I just although I do think that those two contracts up at 44 quarters are going to be a hit, um, I'm taking risk off as we go up. So, um, yeah. I don't need to make all my money at one time. Uh, I took, obviously, a lot of drawdown. So, all right. Should just punch through, being honest with one another. Um, all right. Put in the break even stop. I'm happy with that. I'll take one more off. All right. So we are up 677. I'm happy with that. Guys, you got to take risk off. If you're in a lot of drawdown and it comes back, you got to take it off. Um, better to be up 670, 697 than to let it come all the way back. So, guys, we're playing with the house money now. Um, can only win. So, all right. See if we can uh, get this up to 1K. I think we're going to you know, obviously just punch through those highs. And then uh, we'll go from there. The last contract. And then I'm going to end this video. Um, I've let out a lot of emotions. Uh, I, I've had a tough time. Uh, the... Uh, the girls can upset me a lot. Um, they can be a lot for me. I'm a very quiet guy most of the time. I like peace and quiet. And I've messed up pretty badly with the girls. Um, pretty badly. I sound like an autist because I am an autist. Um, so sounding like a normal man is very difficult for me. I sound like I'm computer science because I kind of am computer science. Uh, so even though I've improved on my looks, I'm not the full package yet. So I've scared some girls off, uh, which is unfortunate, but that is what I have done. I've seriously uh, messed up with some girls recently. Um, and I do not like messing things up. I like, I like being in a high caliber, high performance and I do not like making mistakes and and I was clearly way too aggressive with a lot of these girls I mean not aggressive just like forward like let's go out like right now <laughs> no emojis no nothing no softness just very direct it works with some of them some of them get scared off uh, but if you're too passive they don't they just don't respond so there's a balancing act between directness and bluntness and aggression and, uh, you know, being too passive. If you're too passive, the girls just don't even respond. They just stop messaging you back. So my text game is pretty terrible. I'm very open about that. I'm going to work on it, you know, being more attractive over text message, over messaging apps, dating apps. Because I just can't stand it. I believe in human-to-human -human connection, like actually in person, you can touch me, you can feel me, you know, all these things. Like, I'm a real man. I'm not a name on a screen. Uh, I'm a real physical being, and uh, I do not like, I do not like the world in which we live where, you know, I've got to pretend like I'm a name on a screen. I'm not. I'm a flesh and body human, and we were not designed to get, to get, to get together on a screen but that is the world in which we live and I must adapt and it is what it is yeah I told you Price was not going to let those highs stick in it's going to pretend like it's not going to rip through that it is going to rip through that it's 867 we're going to take one off right at those highs and then the last one we'll see how far it wants to pop yeah guys I have a tough time with the girls but I'm going to work on it um, I'm going to improve my game uh, I'm going to try and, and use a softer approach, more, more, a slightly more effeminate approach. 
a little more indirect, more emojis, more softness. Which is very difficult for me. Very difficult. But I can optimize it. If I can optimize my day trading, I can adapt to uh, modern women. I can adapt to, to what, what they find attractive. Um, obviously, physical fitness is a big part of that. So I've been working on that. Uh, but in addition to that, i got to work on my game. I can spit pretty good game in person. But on text message, I sound terrible, sound like an old man. Baby, for real, for real, for real, dog. Hey, baby. I hate, I hate that. BB, gotta hate it. I hate that I'm gonna have to probably do that stuff. Uh, it's just not the way that I naturally am. I do not like being low class. I find it repulsive. Acting stupid, I find it repulsive. But if that's what I must do, then that is what I must do. So, we'll try that approach. See if that works better. I hate acting stupid. Even if it's more friendly. All right, the price is pretending like it's not going to take out those highs right now. And we're so we're just playing this game where it pretends like it's not going to go take out 44. I mean, if it wants to come all the way down and stop me out, that'd be pretty wild. Um but there'd be another 11 points. Uh, it's just playing at games right now. Pretending like it's not going to take out those equal highs. It will.
All right, I guess it's just pretending like it does not want that buy side liquidity. Uh, there's no way that it does not want these equal highs. Uh, it's just how long it wants to sit there and pretend. You know, I don't know. Uh, it could come and stop me out. I'm not going to move the protective stop. I'm not interested in taking a loss on this trade. Um, so it is what it is, guys. I, just how long it wants to pretend. It's just pretending right now.
All right, guys. I ain't got a lot to say about this trade right now. Um, I've been holding on to the same position for a very long time now. This is going to be a long-ass recording. Hopefully no one saw the middle of this recording where I'm raving and ranting. Um, we're close to passing this combine. We're 300 bucks away. Um, I do want to lock in this profit, though, in all seriousness, so... I'll just trail on this one contract up, and if we get stopped out, we get stopped out. Let's see if we get stopped out here. Be a pretty reasonable spot, 0457. We're priced to put in a high. Um, I think we at least want to take out this mitigation block, trade through it. 62 quarters, seems pretty reasonable to me. So, just trailing it up with one stop, guys, or one. Contract. Contract.